epical periodontitis after intense bruxism done by Gondi et al. in 2022, a group of Germany. The prevalence of epical periodontitis is as high as 34 to 61 percent and it increases with age. It is often associated with the pulpal diseases and a variety of important factors can count for this, including short and long-term irritations, either during the treatment or because of a trauma. So, proxism is known to cause masticatory muscle pain, temporomandibular uh, joint pain, headaches, mechanical tooth wear, prosthodontic complications, and cracked teeth. Less known to the practitioner and described only experimentally in the literature is that proxism can also damage the pulp. To our knowledge, this is the first known clinical case of a patient developing epical periodontitis due to a pure proxism. So in this case presentation, a 28 years old um, male healthy patient referred to the primary dentist with an epical periodontitis on both um, uh, lower first molar. Endodontic treatment had already been initiated, but epical osteolitis was increasing on both teeth. The cause of epical periodontitis could not be determined by the primary dentist. The teeth had no filling, caries, no trauma or accidents, and did not have any periodontal problems, no pain. Over a clinical examination, they found a bifurcation at the propping depth of 4 mm, no signs of any other periodontal diseases, and both teeth showed a 10 mm pocket. And also, the um, percussion test was negative. They compared multiple x-rays on um, a 10 uh, months period, um, and they found that in January 2019, the patient presented with no periapical lesions, and it started 10 months afterwards on both the panoramic and also the periapical lesion. The treatment was delayed due to incorrect diagnosis, and as a conclusion for this, in a case of unexplained tooth pain, possible proxism should be clarified, as this may indicate epical periodontitis in the content of an occlusal trauma. Further case reports and studies are needed to discuss the influence of proxism on endodontic problems.